Mm -hmm. Oh, I think we're live. This is exciting. I'll just make sure that I can see us in the group so I can see your comments. Happy Sunday, everyone. How you're all feeling? Let me just check my phone and make sure we're streaming here so that it's all making sense. Content that connects. This is us. And we're streaming. Perfect, perfect. Hello, hello. Let's see who's on with us today. Oh, refresh that one. I like to see you. Yeah, I like to see you. It's been such a beautiful day here. You can definitely feel like everything's sort of coming in. Hey, Julie, nice to see you. Aloha, Miss Stair. Hey, beautiful Jenna. Happy Sunday to you. Oh my God, did you see everyone's amazing um, photos in our Sunday post? I'm blown away. Beck, your photo is absolutely beautiful. Sunday, fun day. Hey, anytime. It's only 10 days, right? I think someone said, you're going to turn up on Sunday? I was like, yep. Congratulations, Sunny, on the studio. That's so cool. Hello, hello, Nichelle. How are you? Yeah, Sunday, best day, best day of the week. He's back. You were only gone for a day, but you were missed. Like, seriously, you were missed. So cool. Happy Sunday to you, Angela. Morning, morning. Scotland, you must get excited. Hey, Faye. So cool. So cool. You guys are amazing. I love seeing all your comments. I love seeing you show up. It's so cool. Um, yeah, we'll just wait a few more minutes. How's everyone feeling? Are you feeling inspired? Is it with all the things that we've been doing? How are you tracking? Are you feeling like it's all starting to make sense? It's all coming together? Maybe. <laughs> you can see the plan starting to take shape. Hey, Melissa. So nice to see you here. Yeah. I'm going to make my face smaller because I don't need to see me. I just need to see you guys. That's the, the best deal, right? Just see you guys. Ah, hey, beautiful Susie. So nice to see you. Amazing. Yay. Amazing. So lovely to see so many people on a Sunday, Sunday evening, Saturday night from Miss Dare in Hawaii. Oh, my God, I was looking at Hawaii today because I was sharing. Oh, for some of you who don't know, I have Maori background, so my mother's New Zealand Maori and my father is Dutch. So I always joke that I'm like the perfect combination of earth mother meets precision and perfectionist, right? And so there's that whole sense of being Polynesian and having that Polynesian culture in me mixed with that whole sense of being very structured and European. Um, and it's super fun, right? And so this morning I was watching this beautiful tribute, actually a very cool taiha, which is like a war spear for us in New Zealand. And they were doing this piece as a tribute to the Polynesian Cultural Center in Hawaii, um, which I had always wanted to go to university there, but decided instead to try the University of Life. So it's nice to, I was like, oh my God, yearning for Hawaii. It's like, I'm coming for you, Miss Dare. I'm coming for you there. Yay, Faye, I'm glad you can see it coming together. Ah, kia ora, kia ora, kia ora. Hey, Nana Sue. Hey, Paula, I didn't even know you before. <gasps> Stop it, more Dutch Māori who knew. Actually, I did know there's a bunch of us around. In fact, I was speaking to one of my corporate clients. He's German Tongan and there's a lot of German Samoans as well. So the, uh, the intrepid travellers from the European countries did have a took a shine to those beautiful uh, Polynesian women and why wouldn't you right <laughs> yay Christchurch in the house so darn cool yeah I and it's such an interesting thing um I'm gonna overshare again <laughs> right I promise not to take too long um I've always had this sense of you know it's the people who are of mixed race and there are so many of us now who really have this beautiful unique position to be able to bring culture together and to share this unity in a broader space I've never I've dreamt of how to do this before but I've never really um, applied this piece that's been a yearning in my soul to pull together so 
uh, every time I do something, I'm like, how do I bring this back to this sharing this unity? And maybe this is, you know, the pathway for it too. So we'll see how it all opens up. Amazing. All right. So it's time to put some of the pieces together. I'm so excited because it's like all the work that you've been doing has led you not all has led you to this moment there's still things right but you can hopefully you can start to see how it's all sort of panning out which is super cool um and so what we want to think about today is what are your main platforms like where do you want to show up because you know that most people are platform hopping hey stacy good afternoon to you yeah and so when we're thinking about people and their platform hopping like they'll go you know if they're following you on instagram they're probably going to follow you on facebook they're probably going to check out your youtube if you have a youtube and so there's this piece about understanding where's your main platform and where are your customers positioned or where are they hanging out and then where do you want to invest the most time and i would say pick one and maybe two i know i've said this a few times it depends on your audience. So when you're really clear on your message, you're clear on who you serve, you're clear on the values and how you want to communicate, the platform will show itself to you. And I know that you guys are all intuitive. Otherwise, I'm probably not the person that you'd spend your time with, right? <laughs> you'd probably pick someone else. Um, so consider what platform your ideal customer uses the most? Where are they hanging out? And some of that could be a demographic thing, which we talked about when we talked about platforms the other day. How old are they? What kind of content are they consuming? What kind of content are you producing? To be able to understand where they are. The big players in the game are obviously Facebook, um, Instagram. Facebook and Instagram are the two, right? Because you've got Messenger, you've got WhatsApp, you've got Instagram, you've got um, Pinterest is another one, YouTube is another one. They're probably the five, and LinkedIn are probably the five big ones. What if where you want it to be and where it are are two different places? I prefer to be in my blog, but I have a lot of engagement on Facebook. So I think you can use Facebook to drive traffic to your blog, right? And so it's about how do you get eyes on your blog? It's about showing up where people show up. So it's about repurposing your blog actually and sharing it on Facebook and then using Facebook as a tool, as a traffic generator to drive them to where you want to go. And that's where Facebook is really cool because it's this source of traffic that, you, that allows you to direct people on that customer journey yeah yes we all guess it depends followers on instagram but the market is over for to paula tell me what the product is or what the services is so i get a bit of feel for how i can answer that question for you angela people on facebook just need to make an awesome business page i heard you i heard you when you messaged me sorry i just have been wanting to get through this process but i am going to answer your question yeah, please don't add everyone to your personal page. I think the personal page is a great place to create curiosity, but you really, really want to grow a business. That's what you're doing right now. Perfect. So think about where is your ideal customer? Where do they hang out, right? What platform has the greatest capacity to grow your message and grow your business? So you can actually make sure you're playing in the right space, right? And then what platform are you willing to spend time in? And those three things will identify for you excuse me, what is your main platform, right? What is the main place where you want to stay or want to play? And then pick your secondary platforms from there. So decide on one, one or two, one, two or three platforms, whatever that looks like. And um, think about how you're going to repurpose those content, your content over those three platforms. Clothing. So clothing is a very visual thing. So Instagram is definitely a strong market for you. So if if you have followers and bags, yeah. So clothing, fashion, really a huge opportunities on Instagram rather than Facebook. So I think you could leverage Instagram in a great space. Facebook works for me on Instagram. Yeah, Beck, I think both for you, Facebook and Instagram. And yeah, depending on your cooking channel, you're going to need YouTube. Yeah, so they're your three. Same bird as Paula. I don't know how to grow a following on Facebook. Well... <laughs> Facebook is a couple of things, right? So the thing you need to know about Facebook, and we touched on that, I think, before, is that Facebook's not a place where you can organically grow. To grow in Facebook, you need to invest. And it doesn't have to be a lot of money. But I would say um, the only way to grow on Facebook is through paid 
campaigns. And I don't say that to be like unkind, but if you're investing in Facebook ads, you will definitely grow. It's a pay to play fat platform when it comes to business. Yep. Um, don't know how to grow following on Facebook. Baby products. What kind of baby products, Kamini? If you can help me with that one. Sunny, your number one is Instagram. Second is Facebook. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Morning, no, wait, it's totally afternoon, Donna. <laughs> yeah. Um, if your product is visual, if it's retail and visual, then Instagram totally works. If your markets are, Kamini, if your markets are like mamas, mamas are on Instagram and Facebook. So I think those are your two platforms, but it's deciding which one, and it will depend on the product, which one is, the, is where you'll find most people. You might need to do a little bit of research on that one too, but I would say they're your two. Okay, perfect, perfect. So when you understand which one's your, your preferred platform, the other thing we need to understand is if you're sharing the same thing at the same time across both platforms, it's, um, it's, there, there's no reason why they would follow you across both, right? So if you are sharing the same content, then make sure you split the content up over different time periods so that people have an incentive to follow you at different times. Now, that can be challenging at first. And to be honest, I don't always do that. But what I do do is if I post a post, and we're going to do that today, I'll post it on Facebook first and then I'll post it on Instagram later. So I might post it on Facebook today and, and Instagram tomorrow or I might post it on, you know, Facebook in the morning and Instagram in the evening just so they're not landing at the same time in the same place. Yeah. Acupuncture and massage. Is it a service platform? Was Instagram with your second? Mama baby products like nappy cream, practical products. Uh, Kamini, do you have an e-commerce store? Do you have a store? Um, I would say Facebook. I think you can do you can do Instagram as well because mothers love that whole, as long as you create lifestyle type of images, you probably couldn't do product images on the Instagrams, but lifestyle images totally work. Uh, do you know what? There's a lot of older people on the Instagrams now. So um, yeah, I think you're still okay. Yeah, you have a Shopify store. And do you have lifestyle images? Yeah, do you want to go into my Facebook moment? Uh, yes, it's on. It's definitely an older demographic on on Facebook than it is on Instagram. But I do feel like there's far more over forties coming into Instagram now than than were before. Um, yeah, so if you have lifestyle products, it will definitely work on the Instagrams. Um, uh, oh, I can't keep up. <laughs> Okay, I've lost you. I've lost you. I'm going to have to just keep going and come back. Um, cool, cool. So, like, if you've got visual lifestyle photos, they can totally work on the Instagrams. If you've got um, more educational products like coaching services, it depends on how you deliver your content. That's going to work in your Facebook space. Melissa, as a coach, um, I would I would spend your time on Facebook where you can share more meaningful content. Um, Instagram probably will be the place where you're just going to be growing your personal brand so people have an awareness of you, but I'd be sharing the more robust information in Facebook. It depends on your audience. If your audience is under 40, then Instagram might work for you. Um, cool. All right, all right. So let's do this. Susie, just started with Instagram, still trying to understand how it works. Then, you know, unfortunately for all the platforms, so they change quite regularly, right? So that's why I say pick one platform and start there and learn that one before you go to the next one because um, the algorithms and the systems change so regularly, right? So um, when you have an understanding of what that looks like, then we can move forward. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to share with you how I um, upload my information into, um, into later and how we make it all work, right? So what I need to have for this to make sure that everything is ready. So I've got my preparation. I've got my captions ready, right? I've got my images ready and I've got my, um, and I've got an idea of what 
what's going to work where, right? So this is super important. Um, and this is how I save everything. And this is how I save it for my customers too. So I'm just going to go ahead. You're going to see my screen, all of you guys on there, right? So perfect. So what we have is later. Later is open to my page. If you haven't seen later already, you guys probably have by now. I like later because I'm a visual person. So I have my later page ready to go. I have my caption sheet ready to go. So I've been saving it because I actually hadn't posted last week because I forgot to schedule it because I was busy doing all of this stuff. So I've had a week of not scheduling, bad girl. So it's like perfect timing. You're going to help me schedule my content today. Ha ha. So darn cool, huh? So I've got my captions all ready to go. Um, I've got, they're not in date order, but I've got them what I want them to do. I've got my images here. They're all ready to be uploaded. I use Google Drive and sometimes they're easy to see here in list order rather than grid order. So that's up to you. So then I know which one's which, right? So I save them all that way. That's just like my OCD perfection issues coming out. Don't worry about that too much. You can have them in the grid view as well. And then I have, yeah, so I have the three ready to go. I also have like a bit of a preparation sheet. So, um, and you guys have seen me do this. Oh, it's my customers. Also customers. Where's mine? <laughs> Here's mine. So I have like a bit of an inspiration sheet on like how my feed's going to work. So what, what goes next? So we're up to here. The last post I did was Mama's Day. There's Mama. Hey, Mum. I know you're upstairs. Um, so we're going to schedule the next sort of seven posts. So th these next seven things. Are you with me? I can't see your comments. So I'm just going to trust that you are. <laughs> Jenna will ping me if we're, if we're leaving anyone behind. All right. So... The first thing you need to do is you need to upload your media into later. Now, I realize I'm missing one. So the easiest way to upload is just to click on upload. If you haven't done this already, pick the, um, the image or whatever you're going to upload. So I know it's called Martine May. Here we go. This is my image that I want to upload. It's a quote tile. And I'm going to open it and it's just going to go ahead and upload like this, like super simple. So I've gone ahead and uploaded all of my tiles, my images for this particular month. And I know exactly what I want to do with them all, right? So that's my first step. So then um, when I'm uploading, because I'm uploading to Facebook and Instagram, I, at the moment, it's just showing Instagram. I can't see a preview of Facebook. So when I see the plus button, it's going to take me back to my calendar right so my calendar looks like this I want to see it for the month right so I'm like okay we can see my team was naughty last week didn't do anything but I'm on it right so my next post is this um, pencil post so if I look at my plan here's my plan here here's my plan right so the last post I had was mama and I mother's day so my next post is the pencil post so in here, where's the pencils? Here they are. Right. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag them over. I'm going to drag the pencils over to today. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to upload to both Facebook and Instagram. Facebook and Instagram. And then I'm going to save my caption that I've created. Save my caption and stick it in. And there it is. I never like all the words like this, call me crazy. I just think it's hard to read. So I always just do the first line. So, and then I let the rest sort of space out. You can use emojis, there's emojis in here. Uh, what emoji would I use? I don't know, maybe a green heart or whatever. I don't like it. So you can use emojis, but I tend to like to space it out so it's readable. And then in here, I'm going to select a time. So it's this date. We can't have something that's in the past. So let's schedule this for nine o'clock tonight, right? This is what it looks like. And then from here, I have saved a bunch of captions in here. And my captions are my hashtags. And there's a whole bunch of different hashtags that I have in here. This one's about creativity and personal branding and marketing ideas. So Maybe you heard about this? Yeah, fitness business, branding and marketing. So these are my um, hashtags. We're going to talk about hashtags. Don't freak out for branding and marketing. And I'm going to stick them in there, which is cool. That looks great. I'm going to press next. And so then in here, I just want to make sure it's okay. Now, Facebook doesn't love a lot of um, hashtags. So actually, it's just wasted space. So I go ahead and I'm like, going to reduce a bunch of those. But I think the rest will look pretty groovy. 
and I'm happy to press go. So create posts and then go ahead and schedule now for me there. So remember, I don't schedule them both at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make Facebook a bit earlier because Facebook is my primary platform. So I'm going to make the Facebook at six and then the Instagram is at nine and that one's ready to go. Super simple, right? So now I've got, yay, I've scheduled it out. We'll do a couple more just so we understand what it looks like. Okay, so my next one is Jodie. She's my inspirational people. I want to add a few in because I want you to see how I changed my mind, <laughs> right? So here's Jodie, inspirational people. What's sweeter than hokey pokey ice cream? Kiwis in the house. Nothing is sweeter than hokey pokey ice cream in my mind. But you know what? It's a good opening line. Anyone who knows me knows me how much I love hokey pokey ice cream. So I say, what's sweeter than hokey? Do you know? My, oh, if you're wanting to know, those of us who are not great, I'm not a great speller. You would have noticed that in my comments, right? I go too fast. I'm really terrible. And I use Grammarly as an app that corrects my spelling. So this is my Grammarly app telling me that I need to add a comma here or that, look, I made a spelling mistake here and it corrects things on all of my assets. So it's a free service. It's really great for those of us who probably are not great with um, spelling and I often just type far too fast right so again I'm going to put that in here I'm going to set the time I know that people are on my page like in the afternoons and the evenings more than the mornings so I'm going to put that at like a 6 p.m I'm going to add my hashtags right so save captions this is about my clients so this might be about here so we support each other mission purpose girl boss lifestyle influential women that seems right to me and then that all feels good so I'm going to go ahead and press next and I'm going to tag Jody in that so we're going to go Jo. oh she's actually the seven effect so we're going to tag her in that so she's all tagged and she's done so she gets a little bit of love too which is super cool and yes Facebook is there Instagram is there and that looks great so I'm going to go ahead and create the post I'm going to do two more actually I'll just do one more uh, picture of me I don't love pictures of me. Here we go. Here's one in here. And this one I'm doing as, uh, look how fast this is. What success to you, right? Copy. I'm going to stick it in. Paste. I can a win. What's my spelling mistake there? Cool. Too many spaces. What success to you? Uh, this is uh, marketing coach brand awareness. Power positive. That looks like a good one for me right now. I'm going to change the time make it night time and go ahead and press next. Uh, remember Facebook doesn't love all of them. So I'm just going to go. Shh. Let's go work in progress, whatever that is. That all looks pretty cool. So we'll create the post, right? So now we've gone ahead and we've uploaded and set like three posts. See how fast that is when you have it all planned? Literally, this is set and forget. This is ready to go now, right? So when I, you can't preview it all and I'm a visual person. So I'm going to have to just turn off Facebook for a second, turn off Facebook by clicking the cross and then I can preview what I've done. So I can go ahead and these are the posts that I've set up. And I'm like, you know, when I see them all together like that, that doesn't feel right to me. So I'm going to put this one in here. That still doesn't feel right to me. So I'm going to put this one in here. Now that feels balanced. So what have I done? I've looked at it and I've just edited the post to see how it feels balanced. Super simple to do. You just move things around the way you want them to go, right? It'll ask you if you want to do it. I'm going to like, no, I don't want to save the changes. Undo all, right? Actually, we're going to go back to here. Do I want to save the changes? I can't remember. This one. Yes, save the changes, right? So when I look at it, it makes sense. It actually doesn't make sense to me. There we go. Nope, still don't like it. There we go. OCD at its best level, right? And so then you can go ahead and you can change how things look and you can move them around. It will automatically change the placement. You can see the preview of the placement in here. So you can see what that looks like and you can even share the calendar. This is only available on the paid version of later. So if I go ahead and share my calendar, I can um, copy the link, pop it into a fresh page and I can get to see it like what it looks like without all the noise around it. So then I get to see it in a new frame I get to see the actual calendar itself, the feed, what it looks like, how it's coming together. I can see the copy, 
how it's all showing up. It's a very big picture of myself. And then I also get to see like when everything's scheduled for. So super easy, super quick. Once you have all the other pieces in place, you can play with how that looks like, right? So I'm just gonna stop sharing my screen and check in with you guys. Does that make sense to you? How are you feeling with that? Any, um, yes, I do suggest different copy um, change on Facebook and Instagram, depending on what you have. Um, so I think it's important to understand um, what your platform is and what the language is. Sometimes the language is different. Sometimes it's the same. It depends. Um, quite often think of, I think of more context and more depth in Facebook than I would in Instagram, right? Um, how many captions do you need to have saved? I generally do the month, right? Um, so, wow, as well, this is more how I learn quickly. Love it. It'll make sense. Thanks. I'm glad it makes sense. This is so good. So I will go ahead and I'll create my captions for a month like this. So I'll take the time at the beginning of the month. That's what we talked about yesterday, right? I'll go ahead and I'll write it all out for the month. What does it look like so that I can get the captions ready? I can have everything lined up the way that I want it to have it lined up and I'm good to go. So when I'm scheduling and setting, it's just literally, oh, I'm, I'm not showing my screen, but I'm pretending I'm showing my screen. I just showed you. <laughs> I love being human. It's so darn cool. Anyway, I have a caption sheet like I showed you yesterday and it's all set up for the month. At the very least, I do a week at a time, right? So a couple of my clients, they'll do fortnightly. They'll write their captions for a fortnight and then they will, um, they'll go ahead and they'll, uh, <laughs> yes, we can have it in slow motion. Um, they'll go ahead and they'll edit their caption sheets and then we can go ahead and put it all together. Um, can we have that in slow motion? Does anyone want to see that again? Just let me know. Like, I don't want to, I want to make sure that this is a good use of time. Someone asked about how I select images. So I'm going to share with you, if you like, it's a bit naughty because I'm going to share with you. Oh, okay, I will do it. Um, just we're in a work in progress with some of our clients, right? So just I'll wait for the comments to catch up with me. But if you want me to show you how that works again, just press yes. Yep. If you want me to move on, just let me know, move on. Um, yep. So just so I make sure that everyone's got it. I might do one more. Makes sense, makes sense. Yep. Okay, you're good. You don't need to me to show you again. Everyone's okay, cool. So let me give you an idea of how we set up the visuals. So I'm going to show you again, share my screen with you. Um, according to your content schedule, so we're in the throes of planning all of our content for June at the moment for our customers. So what we'll do is we'll generally put all the images together like this one, right? And then we want to space everything out. Now this is not perfectly spaced. So, but ideally I look at everything in a night and nine tiles at a time right because nine tiles just gives me this is how it shows up in the feed right so I look nine tiles at a time and what I'm looking for is consistency of color there's a couple of things in here that are not perfect but you know I've already said we're not progress not perfection so I probably would swap these out at another time right so I'd probably not have two people especially two of me side by side I'd probably want to swap those out next time but I like that this has a balance of green but again so we've got green in the post we've got the tans in the post so it sort of feels balanced and we've got the white in the post so for me this it's not perfect but when I look at the feed what I'm looking for is that the opposite squares make sense you can see now how I want that one there the opposite squares make sense and that there's usually contrasting colors that I don't have two things too close together side by side so when I look at the next nine squares I can see that one two the con contrasting squares make sense and then there's nothing too close together right so ideally I just want to make sure that everything is balanced out and the kinds of content is balanced out so I'll show you that one in two seconds. So as I work my way up, the same thing, right? It's like, okay, here we go. So I've got balance within these two tiles. I've got heavy images, so balance in here. I've got blues and balance in here. And I've got this lovely sort of balance of the tops and greens in here. 
So you can start to see when you see each four, each square of nine, how they come together. And then here's the last square of nine. So again, this is super lovely. Again, no people together, which is cool. The balance of two people up and down. You've got the clean white lines. It's probably a little heavy at the top, but again, not the end of the world. So when I look at it, I'm looking for balance and I'm also looking to see that it's not too heavy or not too busy. Yeah. So I'm going to shop, stop sharing so I can see your comments in here. Yeah, it's a PDF that I'm looking at. I'll try and watch again later. That's all right, Faye. I'll, I'll, um, I can do one more for us. Um, any questions around that? Because that this really comes down to personal preference, right? It comes down to how do you see your images and your feed coming together? Um, and what is it that you're looking for within? Remember we said, how do you want people to feel? when they connect with your brand. So when I get people to connect with my brand, I want them to feel, well, I don't know how, how, I want people to feel inspired. I want people to feel like it's fresh. I also want it to be authentic. Like I'm very, um, you know, I'm just me, right? This is just, you guys know me. I want them to feel like it's the real deal. Like it's not contrived and usually I have like a spiritual element to the work that I do I'm very kinesthetic around how I do my work so for me my work is I'm intuitive I talk about feelings <laughs> do you know I feel into my clients I feel into my work I plan things but I also have that balance of like a having a um, values-based business and bringing that to life um, I'm certainly not corporate. This is literally how I look. That was me going out for dinner. But most of the time, this is pretty much how I look. Sans the shoes. I quite often don't have the shoes. So this, for me, feels like this is who you, who you meet, right? When you see me, this is who you meet. And so that's important. When we come to the planning of that, which is the next piece, how do we balance it all out? Well, we want to make sure that there are, are some balance in the con text of the copy right this is about this is behind the scenes this is insights <clears throat> this is a specialty day star wars day quotes inspirational people showcasing products and services this could be about or my why and this is uh I, this could be inspiration too right so when i look at how we're setting the nine content pieces there's a, a real breadth and depth to the kinds of um content that I'm sharing I'm not just going product 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 right so it's important to see how that comes to life again when you look at the next bunch right so I've got okay we've got Mother's Day we've got benefits inspiration people about me a quote showcasing products and services a personal insight showcasing products and services and inspirational people so it's this context of breadth and depth of information so you're not just going hey here's my lunch and here's my dinner and here's my breakfast, <laughs> which you could do if you're back because people want to know about your breakfast and your lunch and your dinner. But for me, they're probably like, mm, no more soup, teeny. So, okay, cool. And then all the way up here as well. So again, behind the scenes, quotes, benefits. So it's about really breaking it all up and making sure there's a, a breadth of interest and a breadth of your context in there so that you are able to speak to people with all the values that you bring right and so when you think about this and you're behind the scenes in your content map this could be behind the scenes for value one or behind the scenes for a product or service or behind the scenes for your value two or behind the scenes for um, you, you, who you are. So you've got lots of context for what behind the scenes can look like. And then it's just about matching it to a, an image or a placeholder. Okay, and let's see what we have to say about that then. Okay. Uh, I missed the thread. Let's see the thread. What's going on? Whoa, whoa, that's me. I don't need to see all of that. Um, yes, Leda is really quite good with um, analytics. Uh, yeah, Leda is really good with analytics. I think it's a good place to play. Um, one of the reasons why I like analytics, I'm happy to show you the analytics actually. One of the reasons why I like analytics is because, like, like Leda, is because it has really simple to understand analytics. It's got some really cool um, context and, and um, 
data that's able that's easy to use again we talked about this before when we talked about platform hootsuite has more robust analytics so if you're analytically driven i think it's probably gives you more scope for what you're looking at but again happy to share with you what that looks like um, so in here you'll find there's a couple of really cool tools in here so if you look at the analytics in later and i do have a paid version right so you can see here I haven't done anything in seven days, it's probably not a great idea. So let's look at the past month, right? So the past month, I've got 3,000 followers, I lost 13, such is life, right? So you can say, hey, I've gone 256 total posts, I've got 3,000 followers and following 5,000 people. I lost a few, bummer. I've had 8,000 impressions. You can see like the week that I didn't do anything versus when I do do things. It's just consistency is the key, right? The profile inter interactions over the past months, I've had 251 profile views. It's not amazing, by the way. <laughs> Please don't use my <laughs> example in this space. And then it'll tell me like the best performing posts, you know, what the engagement rate is, how many likes and comments. And again, this is pretty low. And um, that's if you don't do the engagement, this is, you know, this is probably what you'll get. So it's really important to do both. Um, I spend much more time in Facebook than I do in um, Instagram. So my Facebook engagement is like exponentially higher than it is on the Instagram, but that's where my people are. So again, it's about understanding the first, your first platform versus your secondary platforms. They also spend some time here. It tells me about my audience. So, you know, just the same as Facebook analytics, what the demographic is, male to female, location and language, where are my people? I've got people in Australia and America. This is cool. I've got some people in Europe, also cool. Um, so it tells me, you know, my top country. Oh, I'm so surprised. United States, second country is Australia. The Brisbane, Gold Coast, Sydney, Melbourne, London. My people speak English. This is nice. Then it'll go in and it'll give you the post performance. Let's have a look at the last month. So it'll go ahead and tell you the volume of likes, comments, impressions, reach, saves link in bio clicks all of those other things so i get to see hey this one was the most popular post look it had like um had the highest amount of impressions which obviously has a, a really great result rate so like everything facebook and instagram if you have a great post and it has lots of interaction then it's going to share that post more than it will share other things it'll also tell you your story performance Again, I haven't done very much this week, but it'll go ahead and tell you average views per user, what's gone on in that space, how many um, impressions and reach. Oh, I had a few, more than I thought, who knew? Um, <laughs> so all of those things, which are super cool. The other thing I really love about um, Later is that you can add, uh, so you can collect media, media from other places. So you can add by hashtag, so in here, I can go branding, for example, right? And search for branding. And it'll show me like all the branding, not my favorites. Oh, this one could work for me, right? So it'll show me everything that works and I can add it to my library. So, and it will automatically save the user details. So when I share it, it will credit the person who it belongs to, which is super cool, right? Um, so that's like a little bit of a background and later, later has good analytics for the Instagrams, but not really for any of the other things. So if Instagram is your main platform, I think you can get some really great analytics in here. If it's not, then um, I tend to use Facebook analytics because it's it's just very cool. <laughs> this looks like what my analytical brain would enjoy. It would look like your analytical brain would enjoy that. Is there a difference between liked and follow in Facebook? Yes, there is. Uh, someone who's liked your post, um, let me get the framing right. Let me get the framing right and send it through to you, Julie. Um, follow with someone who's choosing to follow your work as opposed to someone who's just liking your work. So you want them to like and follow you, maybe rather than just like you. Yeah, so that's important too. Um, and we can do a little bit of a session on um, analytics and reading data. Um, I think it's really important to understand what's working and particularly when you're thinking about scheduling your post. So one of the greatest things I love about the analytics is it tells you when to post. So in your Facebook, look at your Facebook analytics, look at what's going on in there and it'll tell you when are your people online so you understand when's the time to post. 
it's really important. The same with your analytics in Instagram. When are your customers online or when are your followers online? And then that will give you an idea on when the best time is to post. So that is how you batch and schedule your content. And literally you saw how quickly that I did that. I can do... I can do a month in like 30 minutes, right? If I have it already like that, less than 30 minutes. You saw how I did, how quickly I did three, right? So that was like two minutes. So once you have everything ready, it's easier for you to go and upload. And then once it's all uploaded, you can have a little play with how it feeds out and what it looks like. Someone asked me before about Planoly. Planoly is just for Instagram. <laughs> At the moment, everyone's online. Yes, they are. Um, can later give you access yes later gives you access to pinterest and let's have a look i can't remember it does give you access to more let's go and have a look social profiles do you want to know how to do this i share my screen i overshare so let's go back to settings and so um social sets and groups so you can see here this is branding in a box this is where's mine this was Jody. That must be me, right? So you can see here that allows you to have four social sets for one particular group, right? So these are the groups that I manage. Um, so I've actually got two social sets for Jody in here. So my Instagram, it'll let me have Facebook. This is Twitter and Pinterest. So these are the social sets that you can access for any one um, group i suppose or any one sort of you know team if you want to call that team or social bundle um they're the platforms that you can share to um via later yeah easy huh so where did i go to i went to settings <laughs> perfect let me check in have to go pick up a child go get a child <laughs> thanks ellison i'm glad you're learning so much yeah i seem to like your page yeah, so yeah, you, you just ask, yeah, you're hoping they'll follow you. So you definitely need to ask them to follow you. I can follow. Yep, you can definitely get more reach with that. And then with the followers, you know that you're, you're more feasible. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, any questions before we sign off for today? How was that? Did that make sense to you? How are you feeling with uh, scheduling? Is anyone ready to schedule? Can you schedule this week's content, do you think? Can I give you a challenge? Who, who wants to schedule some content this week? Anyone ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Super exciting times. You know that's what we're here for. Let me just check and see what we're on about tomorrow, right? So today we're scheduling and planning and tomorrow is engagement. That'll be fun, right? Yeah. Can I give you all a plug? Sunday Sessions concert tonight on Facebook, 7.45. Done, Susie, thank you. Sunny, I reckon you're always in the spa. Hopefully there's room for more. It's a shame you're so far away. You're scheduling tomorrow. Awesome, Sunny. <laughs> we definitely want to join you in the spa. Yeah, perfect. Amazing. You guys are epic. It's super, super loved. That's all right, Melissa. You're going to get going this week, Angela. You got it. That's all right, Melissa. Give yourself a smaller target, even if you can do seven days, right? So even if you do three days, just have a couple of things ready and get to it. Hey, Nana Sue, it's great. Yes, mum's the same. Mum's like, oh, I just have to watch it a few times. That's totally cool. She's like, I'm such a beginner. I'm like, there's beginners and there's people who are used to it. That's totally fine. Plan a class for tomorrow. Does that count? Have you scheduled your post for the class for tomorrow, Miss Beck? Yeah, cool, amazing. Is that my mother? I don't know. Anyway, it was my mother. <laughs> Mum, you're going to schedule some stuff? No, Paula, um, this PDF is from, I have a few designers that work with me, so they send me the PDFs for me to approve the imagery and then we upload it. Um, but you can use another way to see all of your um, images like that and to have a play with how they're laid out is to set them up in later. So add all your images to later and then go ahead. Do you want to quickly see how I do that? So you can go ahead and let me just go back to the calendar and add everything into later. Let me share my screen, right? So from here, I'm going to go to preview. 
And if you're just having a play with how things would look, I can go ahead and I can add in, oh, there's that thing that we added in. So I'm going to add in some stuff, right? One, two, three. I'm going to add in this one for just playing, right? We're going to add in these things, right? So now I've added all these tiles in. And from here, I can play with how it looks, right? So I might want to move this around or move this around. And you can start to play with it in later. And then once you're happy with it, you can go ahead and save the changes. But I'm actually going to undo all of that. So yes, what I would do is you can drag your tiles straight into later and do whatever you like with them, right? And then play with where they sit in your later account. Yeah, so just drag them over have a play with how it all looks and if it feels good and if it feels good press and then you can go ahead and add the content and whatever else in there so there's that's your super quick way at least you can see the aesthetic without having to create a pdf and i find that super easy too yeah but i'm not going to i'm going to undo all of that because otherwise that will mess with my brain my brain doesn't need it awesome you guys are awesome anything else i can do for you this evening you don't go schedule one back you got it my pleasure go under an imaginary coconut tree do it awesome awesome you guys are amazing thank you so much for showing up have the most brilliant week ahead i can't wait to share with you the next bit we've got three days to go right three days so um what i want to do on day 10 so what's that today is sunday monday tuesday wednesday on wednesday's our last day i'm going to do live feedback so on tuesday you can send me your stuff um wherever you're at right whatever you're up to send me your stuff i'll do live feedback on the call on wednesday and i'll also select who i'm going to do their feeds for right so exciting have the most beautiful evening day ahead uh again just thank you so much for sharing your time your energy with me i so appreciate you guys have fun with it and i will see you tomorrow bye